Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. So this reading is going to be you versus the karmic, you versus the third party, the other person your love interest is involved with versus you. How do they feel towards you? How do they feel towards them? Who do they want to be with more? So let's look at that. Spirits, angels, and guides for the collective who have chosen number one. Could you tune into the energies of their person, themselves, and their guides? And tell us, who do they prefer? The viewer or the other person? Who does the love interest prefer for option one? The viewer or the third party slash karmic? So we're going to pull a card indicating how your person feels for the viewer. So how does the love interest feel towards the viewer for option one? I feel like with the Eight of Swords in reverse, they're coming out of this period of feeling very trapped, of being their own worst enemy, thinking a lot of negative thoughts regarding you and the connection, or maybe they see you this way, but um, you're no longer stuck here. And they feel that you're getting you're getting free, that you're breaking through some barrier that you built, um, <clears throat> and that you may be changing the way that you do and see things now. So I feel that they feel that they are rejecting like social expectations or you know what's expected of them. and um, are getting more focused on moving in some area of their life from a, an area where they feel trapped. They're moving from that. And so maybe they have had their heads in the clouds regarding you, and now they're trying to get their heads out of the clouds and, and get their affairs in order because they feel like they feel like whatever is going on between the two of you will get worse if they don't take some action. Um, I do feel that they feel tied to you. They may be afraid of being alone. Somebody that's the type that's afraid of being alone. Um, perhaps that's why they're with this other person if they're with another person. But just in general, I get that this is the way that they are. And maybe that the type that's unwilling to support themselves. Maybe they don't like to face up to what's really going on in certain areas of their life, including with you. And um, also this card can say that if they've been listening to someone else's advice, they've... Um, realize that they need to start listening to their own their own inner guidance regarding you okay so how does option one's person feel towards the other person towards the third party karmic how does option one's love interest feel towards the third party towards the third party I feel that they feel quite passionately towards the third party there is sexual energy indicated here they may be able to ride in and out of this person's life um, with um, without responsibility in other words they can stay uncommitted to this person um, this other person they you know perhaps go on adventures with travel with generally there's this feeling of excitement and movement with the knight of wands and a bit of restlessness as well. Um, perhaps, like I said, these people like to travel travel together. Um, but they are generally happy when they're around one another. And um, it could be, you know, a very enthusiastic affair um, between them. But not it's not one that's likely to last. Like I said, this is a fun... Um, card. It's about a free spirit who doesn't like commitments. So it feels like they feel it's temporary with the other person. How does option one's love interest feel towards some spirit? 
how does option one's love interest feel towards them? We've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. So I don't feel that they have um, much, uh, if any, emotion to offer you at this time with this knight being in reverse. Because when he's upright, he's uh, making a change and he has something of emotional value to offer. But when he is in reverse, he um, represents insecurity, indecision, and lack of commitment. So there's lack of commitment with regards to you. But I'm getting that you know, most of you who chose this option are not um, sleeping with this person or letting them ride in and out of your life anymore, where they can do that apparently with the third party. This card is saying that they are not having that same sort of movement with you. And maybe you put your foot down. <clears throat> maybe you've realized what you've wanted and you've asserted yourself because this person is showing up very um, immature especially in relationships so it could be that this person has broken promises to you been deceptive to you um, but whatever offer that they might offer you or have offered you isn't based in reality so it's someone that you should avoid at this time because they don't have your best interests at heart and they're not what they seem and they may not even know who they themselves are so even if their intentions are good they cannot fulfill them at this time with this card because it does talk about dishonesty, um, incompetence, or deviousness, either you know on on this person's part, or on the part of somebody you know, somebody else around you. But the question is about this person and how they feel about you. Energies can be vice versa. Take it that way if that's how it applies. But I feel like um, this energy is this person towards you. Let's get another card for how option one's person feels about the third party karmic. It looks like <clears throat> there is some sort of a tower moment coming with this third party karmic. And it might be a result of um, the fact that this person, your person, doesn't love the karmic with the ace of cups in reverse. The Ace of Cups is overflowing emotions when it's upright, and it talks about a loving new beginning. But I feel like there have there's been some sort of block or delay, stagnation in in regards to with regards to love and emotion from your person to this third party here. So it could be that it seems promising, or the relationship seemed promising, but it just didn't turn out the way that somebody had hoped here. And it could just be that it's not the right time, but. Um, it does speak about obstacles, limitations, and dis disappointments regarding love. And this is either due to a tower moment that's happened, like a sudden shock to the system, a surprise event that um, really like shakes the foundation of the relationship and causes it to end. Um, or it could be the factor that causes the relationship to end with this tower card here because the tower card is about endings and it's something that wasn't built on a solid foundation to begin with and so that's why you know it has to end for something better to begin but if your person or the other person they're involved with didn't see this coming they should have because the signs were there they probably just you know refused to acknowledge these bad patterns or red flags and um, <clears throat> You know, as a result, you know, the tower moment just kept persisting until it finally happens. And to, to send the message that this isn't right. Um, and that this change needs to take place here. And they need to see the situation for what it really is. So um, a change is being thrust about upon this third party and your person. And it could be, again, that their affair began suddenly, but then it ends just as suddenly. Maybe it destroyed a happy home. Um, if not, don't take that. But it could be for some of you that it destroyed a happy home. And that definitely there were some warning signs that um, were ignored. And um, now they're having to deal with the aftermath. Spirits, angels, and guides, 
What does options, option one's love interest think about them? What does option one's love interest think about them, please? Whoa. They think that you're a soulmate. They think that you're somebody, you know, they feel a soul connection to, whether they realize that it's a past life connection you may have or um, just that it, you're a past person in their life. They definitely, you know, acknowledge fond memories and feel nostalgic when they think about you. Um, could You could even remind them of someone that they loved in the past. But I'm getting that they think they do think about you nostalgically and like with some some degree of sentimentality here. Um, they think about having an, an emotional renewal with you and perhaps after a time of unhappiness. And um, they think that you're someone who shares your joy with other people, that you're like willing to share your joy and that you have with them and that you give of yourself eagerly and that you're the type that does good things. Um, this also talks about, you know, giving a good offer to someone and um, expressing love and caring to the people that you value. So perhaps you're that type of person and I feel that they think about you in that way and they think about coming forth to you with some sort of an offer and expressing their love and their caring towards you. I can talk about, you know, overcoming problems in a relationship and renewing positive feelings for one another and it can talk about reconnecting with a past love so they think about reconnecting with you once they're um, done dealing with this mess that they're dealing with because the six of cups talks about renewal after a time of unhappiness what does option one's love interest think about the third party slash karmic the five of pentacles in reverse so they think that this time with the karmic of this feeling emotionally drained um well first of all they think that the karmic is emotionally draining um whether you consider this person third party or karmic it means the same thing um for this reading so um I think that um, they're thinking that with persistence they can recover from this period of um, adversity with this third party, um, and but it's going to require them to really dig deep within themselves to find the strength to carry on after this tower moment in this connection with this third party. It's going to require recovery time for your person. It does say, you know, that the worst is over, and. Perhaps, you know, they are emotionally as well as financially spent, um, spent or drained as a result of that third party connection. Um, but I feel like they are letting go of an unfulfilling relationship to seek something better here. This is what they're thinking about doing, letting go of this third party to seek something better. And they will emerge from a difficult time here with this third party. Um, and do what's necessary to repair the damage in their life as a result of that. And thinking about, you know, coming back to you as part of them repairing their lives. Okay. So what actions, spirits, angels, and guides, for those who chose option one, what actions will the, their love interest take towards them? The, um, the Knight of Swords in Reverse. So it looks like um, due to everything that they're going through, their actions are not going to be uh, very, def very defined because they're going through a lot right now. They need to recover from these things that they're experiencing with this other person. And so I don't see communication forthcoming in the near future um, with this person, um, with your person, because they, I mean, maybe even if they do communicate with you, but it won't be 
um, very mature communication, we have two knights in reverse. It's not going to be mature communication, unfortunately, because this knight lacks the drive and the competence uh, of the upright knight. And um, he, this, your person is just going to kind of be sort of going with the flow, um, being confused, just kind of a tumbleweed blowing in the wind, and withholding information from you too, I feel. So, I don't think he's going to be able to say what he really means to you at, at present or in the near future. I think he's going to live in his mind instead of the real world some more, um, because he's going to be feeling really overwhelmed. So, if you were to communicate, and I don't think for most of you that you really will, but if you were, there would be like cutting words or arguments because of this night's imp irresponsible behavior and that would just cause more of a rift in your relationship so um, just recognize that you know this is not a trustworthy person at this time and coming out of this um, situation with this third party so even though they think about coming back to you they're just really not ready for that and I feel like you know as a result you may want more freedom and rebel against this person and decide that you don't want a commit commitment with them after all certainly they don't want a commitment right now either and they're in a rebellious, rebellious state of mind towards you. And what are the actions that option one's love interest is going to take towards the third party? What actions will option one's love interest take towards this third party? What actions? Okay. They're just going to stop feeling sorry for themselves and um, the end of, of this connection with this third party. They are going to, you know, get on with things. Um, again, recover, like we saw with the Five of Pentacles. I feel like they are not, your person is not sure how to handle a disappointment or a loss, but they are starting to move away from the hurt and make a new life for themselves. And so it is, this is a card of healing and it does say, you know, um, that these struggles are going to make your person stronger and they just want to let bygones be bygones with this um, with this other person and they're really looking at it as it, an ending and they just want to not have any hard feelings towards this other person they just want to let the door shut so that another door can open so it looks to me like um, your person is not in um, a place to commit to anyone seriously at this time although if they had to choose they definitely prefer you over this um, third party or they soon will as that is ending and they think about you fondly and they remember good times that they had with you or they sense that you are a soulmate um, somebody that they've known before and so um, while they're not ready to move towards you or communicate with you at least not in a mature way that's going to amount to anything really at this time they are making strides towards healing and coming out of um, a period of being um, uh, um, uh, of dealing with loss and disappointment okay so that's all I have for you option one thank you for tuning in and so um, if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to and um, if you'd like a personal reading details on how to get one are in the description box below welcome option two so we're going to look at you versus the third party slash karmic so if you are interested in someone and they have someone else that you know of, you want to see how they feel towards you versus how they feel towards this other person and what they're likely to do about it. Okay. Spirits, angels, and guides, please give us accurate loving guidance for those who chose option two regarding their person and how their person feels for them versus how their person feels for the other person or third party. So, how does option two's love interest feel towards them? Okay. Well, they feel like they want to charge towards you. Either meet with you or communicate with you. They have some strong ideas 
and strong words for you, for better or for worse here, with this, um, with this Knight of Swords. This knight represents somebody that's charging in the battle, so there may be some contention between the two of you that um, that your person wants to talk about or a address. And um, so I do feel like they want to address it, whatever that might be. I also feel that you inspire this person to be, you know, to be, you know, forthright or honest and. Um, you know, maybe to be more daring. And this is somebody that is probably pretty um, single-minded, uh, intense to the point of perhaps being a bit insensitive at times as well. But when it comes to you, they think about you and they feel, you know, passionately towards you. They have passionate ideas about you. And, um, but with whatever they want to address with you, they really feel like, you know, they're in the right here. So... This is someone that, you know, expresses their ideas enthusiastically and they might have trouble understanding other points of views as other points of view as well. Cuz this is a quick-minded and you know, intellectual type individual, but um, they don't have a lot of true wisdom because it's like more of um ego intellect type of person, if that makes sense. So, um, if the energies are vice versa, apply it vice versa. Um, but this is what I'm getting. So this is an urgent message or an unexpected trip as well. Could be either of those. Yours might be a newer um, affair or romantic situation, or there might be a change um, within your connection with this person that brings or has brought, you know, more excitement, openness, and freedom. Maybe that's what this person wants to talk to you, making a change that would give this person more freedom or um, openness here or excitement. But um, it looks like this person themselves could stand to be a bit more uh, flexible and tolerant with you. Spirits, angels, and guides, give us um, a card representing option two's love interests, feelings towards the third party or karmic. So, your person, I'm getting a little bit of ambivalence from this card, but it does talk about having emotions for this other person. Um, I don't know if they are in a serious relationship together or they have been, but um, there's definitely a sense of deeper emotions for this per person for better or worse or worse, um, an emotional warmth, the sense of like feeling protective towards this person, this third party, this other person. Um, I don't know if they work together creatively in any sense, but um, this is someone, this king is someone who likes to be admired and loved. And um, I feel like, you know, that's where they go to. They tend to gravitate towards people who make them feel that way. And um, I think they would go to great lengths to to achieve affection and attention because they need a lot of it. And this is someone that is very easily hurt as well, whether it's representing the third party or your person. Um, this is how they feel towards your person, towards the third party rather, um, that that other person is more easily hurt and um, can hold a grudge. So. He might indulge this other person who could be a bit controlling, you know, just to keep the peace. But I feel like, um, you know, your person, if this is representing your person, is someone that is supportive and protective in general and towards this third party. And um, that there is is or was uh, a deeply, like I said, a deeply emotional and or committed romantic relationship but does suffer from jealousy, possessiveness, or a need um, for more trust and more openness, which if he is involved in, or she, whoever is involved in a third party situation, then obviously there are trust issues that, in that connection. Spirits, angels, and guides, um, give us one more card for option two's love interests, feelings towards option two. How does option two's love interest feel towards them? Well, 
Well, they feel like they're having to divide their attention between you and someone else. Okay. They feel like they're having to divide their attention towards you and someone else and or you might be somebody who engages in charity work or is just generally a generous person, a charitable person. Um, while there's truth in that, your person may not be giving you as much as you desire or that you deserve, okay? This is a card of equal give and take. With it being in the upright, I feel like they feel like you deserve more than what they're giving you. They might wish to give you a gift. Um, they would like to share, you know, more of their resources and time with you with this card. I think they feel like with you, they could maybe have a win-win situation in their life. Um, this could represent a, a, a mature masculine energy, but doesn't have to, um, or that they feel that way towards you. And, um, and they generally feel, you know, good towards you, like sharing with you, sharing their resources, finances, or otherwise, so that you can both benefit. And, and, um, and they want to have, you know, they want you, I feel like they want you to open up to what they have to offer. Um, certainly, I get the impression that you, viewer, want them to open up more to what you have to offer. However, um, what this card is saying, beware of unequal give and take. All relationships should have equal give and take in them. I think their intention for the most part is to give generously to you however they are giving to more than one person Oops. there is a certain amount of burden for your person with regard to um, um, feeling that they have to give to you whether that's because they don't have as much to give to you because they're giving to someone else as well or because they just feel like they're shortchanging you, or um, you know, take it how it resonates. So, how does option two's person feel towards the third party slash karmic? How else? Give us another card on how option two's person feels towards the other person. We've got the three of swords in reverse. So, at some point, there's been emotional loss or pain in this connection um, I feel like perhaps they have hurt the third party um, and now they are recovering from that with this card this is a heartbreak car heartbreak card talking about you know regret grieving sadness loss but when it's in reverse it's saying that um, it's less about those things and more about just like an uh, unhappy situation that this person um, has caused your person or vice versa. Um, it could even be like a temporary heartbreak and not the end of the world, but uh, if there's been some truth spoken between the two of them, that truth hurt. Um, but I feel like, you know, that they're facing, um, that they're facing this hurt so that they can improve things or at least the third party would like to to pull themselves together and to get on with the connection whether that means staying together or um, just getting on with their individual lives and so definitely a painful experience here your person has been hurt in this connection with this other person um, perhaps a few of them had been involved in a third party on the other end so their third party has another person on the side or did in the past but you know take what resonates if it doesn't fit then um, forget it but that's what I'm getting for one or two of you I think there there's a desire here to work on past problems and try to make things better though and again you know this could explain the jealousy that I'm seeing with this king of king of cups you know jealousy regret guilt and fear so perhaps, you know, this third party cheated on them at some point or that your um, person thought that they did or was just made jealous. But I feel like, you know, your person is getting to the point where they're just wanting to accept the loss in this third party connection with this other person and move on. Whatever that means for them, it's going to be different based on different situations. 
So spirits, angels, and guides, give us a card um, telling us how option two's person thinks about them. What does option two's person think about them? Well, they think that they're avoiding making a decision by pushing you away through acting egoically and taking the low road to win any arguments or conflicts with you at any cost. Even if it's just like a discussion that you're having, um, they have to be right. They feel very strongly that they're always right. And, um, you know, even if they know that they're not, they like to go with it because it, it keeps them from having to make a decision here. It keeps them in a stalemate. It keeps you in a stalemate. Um, they think that, you know, with you, they have behaved sneakily. Um, and that they do have to behave sneakily to deal with you. And we also got the um, the King of Wands in reverse. So this is what they're thinking about you. You know, maybe you're not very happy with this person because of the way that they behaved or, you know, the fact that they've got someone else that they're entertaining. Um... I feel like, you know, there have been a lot of delays in the connection and that the success in this connection isn't as great as you had, ho you had hoped for and so it puts you in a bad headspace. Um, so maybe you're not as available to this person anymore as a result of that. Um, or that, you know, you can't help this person even if you wanted to because the problem is with them and this other person that they're involved with. We saw that your person feels like being generous with you or viewing you as a generous person, but they can't be as generous. Again, this is saying they can't be as generous with you as they'd like to. And this is largely because this person, you know, again, like I said, their loyalties lie elsewhere right now. Um, so it's saying that, you know, maybe um, this person isn't as dishonest or ir irresponsible as they come across, but they're not forthcoming. Like they don't offer you a lot of information because they can't afford to because um, of the you know secret nature of your connection so it does um, this king in particular talks about being committed to another person and um, they think that you're going to get tired of the sneaking around for those that resonate with the sneaking around uh, which should be most of you is what I'm getting and if this reading doesn't resonate choose another option or reading but this is what I'm getting they're sneaking around they feel like you're losing enthusiasm with this connection or they are because of that um, and that things have been really slow to get started because of this other person that they're dealing with and um, yeah because they're like more than likely committed maybe married to someone else committed to someone else so that's why they've had to sneak around. They've had to take what they can get from, from you. Um, and they might fight, pick fights with you to avoid making a decision, to keep you hanging on. But also they see that perhaps, you know, you're getting, um, you're starting to lose your passion for them. Because of how long it's taking for you guys to really be together. And that's what they're thinking. So how does option two's person, or what does option two's person think towards or about um, this third party slash karmic? They think that they are settling. That they've missed an opportunity, that the universe presented them with something better, but they've settled for this other person and they're bored with it. They really could care one way or the other. They're apathetic and they're bored. Okay, so they, um, you know, what else is there to say about that? If you look at the face of the person on the card there, I mean, it's pretty much speaks for itself. This lack of inspiration here, and they're withdrawing from this connection with this other person. That it's stagnant, that um, 
they know that they're not satisfied, but that they lack the incentive to change. So they're just detaching emotionally from this situation and other situations, you perhaps as well, because of this just lack of inspiration to change. Maybe they've sacrificed their own happiness because they wanted security. Um, but they are withdrawn, withdrawing their affection and energy from this relationship with this other person. And, um, yeah. So what action does um, option two's love interest plan on taking towards them? What actions or action? Well, first they need to <clears throat> stop obsessing and losing sleep over their problems here and um, over you, the connection, and just their problems because, um, and I think that, you know, this shows that they will because this period of being obsessed and um, negative is completing with the nine. Nines represent completion. So whatever, you know, hard times that they're going through at present, you know, that's going to end. And it's going to end a period of despair for your person. And um, I think that they've you know, finally are starting to figure out, you know, what's at the root of, of their hardships or their misery. And they're finally ready to face it and to deal with it. Which I think I said something similar. There was another card that Three of Swords said something similar. So this is a real... Um, point spirit is trying to make to you that they are ready to deal with their misery here and uh, it has involved this person's need to stop feeling sorry for themselves stop sulking and be willing to make the necessary change to you know uh, repair any damages so that they can move on either with you or just in general here they could be even seeking like professional help counseling or something like that and they're really trying to decide with you if, you know, it's worth continuing trying to have this connection with you um, in light of everything they've put you through and how you may be losing enthusiasm for them. Um, regardless, they just need to know, you know, if it's worth staying and they're deeply considering that and trying to decide that. And they might be feeling, you know, that um, being alone would be preferable to... Um, remaining in an unhappy situation either with this person or um, with themselves because they're just not a happy person they've got some work to do on themselves a lot of healing that needs to take place and they're needing to be honest with themselves that they've deceived themselves for quite a while it speaks to low self-esteem and other issues you know that um, you would be involved in such a situation that your person would be especially with this other person they're involved with and those are all things that um, they're needing to deal with. So I don't see much communication coming from this person or much progress in your relationship at present because of this person needing to deal with um, all of their own personal issues. Let's see what actions your person is going to take towards this third party. What actions are option two's person going to take towards this third party or this karmic, whichever the case. I feel like your person is going to try to um, move forward with this, give this another chance with this um, this other person that they're involved with, with the Sun card, which is the most positive card in the deck. And I said earlier that they're wanting to move forward from the losses and the stagnation. They're uninspired at this time. Um, so they're wanting to find inspiration and it looks like, you know, they intend on making actions, taking actions to that end to find happiness, to find, you know, vitality and clarity in their life again. So, um, this is a new day dawning. Um, this person, you know, they're going to take it upon themselves to stop being, you know, miserable and... Um, to stop feeling sorry for themselves and be more creative with regard to their connection with this other person where they're going to find some inspiration through their own efforts and being creative in some sense or involving this other person in a creative project where they can find inspiration together. 
So whatever the case is, you know, the sun is going to be shining on this other connection. Um, and, you know, it could be due to them starting some new project. Um, but it does bode well for like a happier, pleasurable time for them where they'll feel more content and comfortable together. Finding inspiration and, you know, being able to enjoy one another. So they're, I feel like... I did sort of see this coming with this, but I wasn't sure how it was going to play out that your per your person um, is needing to heal from whatever disappointments that they've suffered in this connection with this other person and that they're doing that and it's caused them a lot of grief. But once because of the healing that they're putting themselves through now, they are going to have a new attitude about their current connection. And then since they're committed to this person, it looks like for most of you that, that this is just easier to stay where they're at. And, um, and appreciate what they've already got and, and work on this connection with their current partner to try to make it better. But they are really, um, yeah, they do feel badly, you know, about the connection with you but they have to do what they have to do here I feel so just remember that this is um, you know a general reading it's meant for entertainment purposes if this doesn't resonate pick another reading another option another reader and um, that's all I have for you option two thanks for tuning in hi welcome option three so this is a reading of you versus the third party or karmic. How does your love interest feel towards you um, versus the other person they're dealing with? Um, and what are their intentions and what's going on? So we're going to compare your connections. So I pre-shuffled off camera. I'm going to shuffle again. Angels, spirits, and guides. Please give us loving and accurate guidance for those who cho chose option three regarding their love interest and how their love interest feels towards them versus how they feel towards the other person they're involved with or dealing with. So how does option three's love interest feel towards them? Okay, we've got the three of cups in reverse. So you guys might not be friends right now, or you might not be getting along too well right now with this. This is a friendship card, and it's in reverse. So that tells you that there's something that's not flowing right now with regards to your, with your, regards to your connection. It could be that Your person feels very indulgent when they deal with you. Um, maybe you guys like to party or you like to drink a lot or eat a lot or have a lot of sex. Something is indulgent about this connection here. Take what resonates, okay? Remember that I'm reading for lots of people, so part of a reading might resonate, part of a reading, reading might not. But I'm getting that they feel like very indulgent when they're with you. And I feel like your person might get more down or tired of too much interaction. Like maybe this is a very extroverted connection when the two of you together, you, you both come alive and socialize quite a bit. And as a result, you know, even though it's fun, this wears your person down. And so then they need to retreat and have some downtime. Could be that you're the one that's like this. You know, energies can be vice versa, swap energies if you need to. So But like I said, originally, you know, this can talk about you guys not being friends right now. Maybe you're on the outs at present and you're just disenchanted with your with your connection right now. And it could be, you know, that you're longing for one another as well. If you've had some sort of a falling out, now you're longing for one another. And this person is longing to feel a sense of community with you again, to have you around again. And I feel like your person feels a bit discouraged, lonely, or left out regarding you. Okay, if you feel this way too, um, that would make sense, you know, but I, I asked, you know, how your person feels towards you. And 
you know, maybe they feel like you've left them behind, like you're growing and, and they can't keep up or they haven't kept up. So, so you've left them behind in a sense. It could be, you know, that they're just not able to spend as much time with you as they would like to because they have a primary partnership. If this other person is someone that they're more committed to, um, then that could be the reason why you're not being able to spend as much time together and that they're longing for you as a result because they're not getting that time with you. But we'll look into their connection here in a sec. But you just don't get to see, you know, your friends as much as you want to with that card. So it could be this person feels like you're a friend here. Spirits, angels, and guides, how does option three's love interest feel towards the other person, the third party slash karmic? How do they feel? Option three's person feel towards that other person. We've got the tower in reverse. So it looks like... <clears throat> There's something shocking. This person is not getting along with this other person very well either, okay? With this tower card in reverse because tower is a sudden change, a major change that really rocks somebody's foundation. And with it in reverse, it's like somebody in this connection um, between your love interest and the other person they're dealing with is refusing to change their old bad habits or um, yeah the patterns in the relationship that doesn't serve the relationship and as a result you know they're just going to continue to to suffer from disruptions and difficulties until they finally get the message like the universe is trying to knock this tower down and somebody's not accepting that so I feel like, you know, the universe at a deep level is preparing your person for this major change that needs to take place, but your person is resisting it, or perhaps it's that other, the third party who's resisting it. But there definitely needs to be a change to these limiting behaviors and beliefs that's holding your person back so that they can experience a new sense of freedom in their lives. So, and it could be that this connection here with this third party was an affair that began suddenly and now it's like ending just as suddenly. There's a big argument, somebody leaves angrily or has left angrily or will leave ang angrily and it destroys, you know, their happy home if they've got a home together. But there, there were warning signs for both of them, if that's the case. And now they're having to deal with the aftermath of ignoring those warning signs. Let's get another card for how option three's love interest feels for them. How does option three's love interest feel for them, please? They feel a certain sense of loyalty to you. They feel that you are someone of substance and someone that makes them feel grounded and makes them think about having something serious. With this night being about messages, communication, solid offers, this is a serious night, so you make them feel serious and they could be feeling like giving you a serious offer of some kind okay so it's a very positive card to come in the upright but it is also a slow card as that night tends to be um, pretty slow you know uh, um, in making a move but that's because he is a more serious night um, gender is irrelevant that's the energy of the card this is a serious night who um, takes their time because they want to get it right the first time like when they make an offer or communication, they want to make sure it's right. That can get a bit boring for you, I feel. I, maybe they feel like you're bored with the slow pace of the connection of getting this golden offer as you see that he has in his hand here. Whatever that might represent for you at whatever level you are um, at with this connection. But your person is cautious. And they're, they're practical here. They don't feel like they're really in a position to be anything other than that. And again, like this could be you depends on who's receiving this message right now who this is resonating with but um, 
I feel like they feel like you're not like they don't have to be super flashy or um, super adventurous you know with you that you kind of just accept them like on a friendship level right for who they are without them having to really put on such a such a big act or be really like super charming or super creative not that they aren't but this is how they feel that that they can depend on you and um that you are willing to do the necessary things to to be with them and that you make them feel like doing the necessary things to bring their goals to fruition you know with regards to usually like money and possessions or status with this card earth energy grounded practical energy but also with regard to the connection with you so this is someone who succeeds through determination and effort but um, he's not the most inspired knight and he's not the fastest moving like I said but he does work really hard and um, perseveres and, and values like dedication and loyalty and somebody who is steady in the face of challenge or turmoil here. So I feel like he feels with you we could have a st stable, loyal, practical relationship um, that you would accept him or her for who they are without them having to constantly be on all the time, so to speak, and that you could rely on one another and... Um, and that you could have security and, and uh, financial security as well as just security in the connection with one another, like emotional security. So how does option three's person um, feel towards the third party? Let's get another card on how option three's person feels towards that third party. The Nine of Cups in reverse. So the Nine of Cups in, in the upright is about wish fulfillment. In reverse, they feel... I mean, they feel like the third party is a bit smug, you know? I feel like they overindulge with the, the third party as well. There's a sense of excessiveness. So maybe this is the type of person that works really hard and plays really hard. But, um, I feel like whatever benefits that they've gotten from being with this third party, that those were like, you know, ill gotten. In other words, like they had to take, I guess you could say like the low road to get those, those benefits. That's not something that they can feel proud of in other words. So I feel like, um, They feel like the connection with this other person is like frivolous or it was based in like sex or that this other person, they might even think that this other person is promiscuous if we're talking about ex excesses. It, excesses don't only mean food, drink, it can also mean sex. Um, but um, it does denote a certain like insensitivity in the connection. So they feel like insensitive towards this other person or that the other person is insensitive towards them. Could be the reason for this tower moment. It could be the red flags that your person was not um, acknowledging that the universe is forcing on them. Is that this isn't really a good fit, that it's based in some sort of, ex some sort of excess that they get from one another. And, um, and it's not really a very deep connection. And also that, you know, your person does not trust this other person. That they feel like something, a mistake that they made is going to come to, come to light or get found out or vice versa. Like that this third party is going to find something out. Something that your person did that they're not proud of. Or that, you know. Interesting. Okay. Well, that explains the tower moment, though. It's kind of a shallow, like, situation. This castle built on sand comes falling down because it wasn't um, stable to begin with. So how does option three's person um, think about them? What does option three's person think about them? 
Spirits, angels, and guides, what does option three's person think about them? Okay. They are in their head about the situation, but they're coming out of it. Your person <laughs> thinks, it's interesting, I shuffled the cards really well, but this card came out in the same position for option two, so that happens sometimes. Maybe option two has a message for you too, if this resonates, but back to this reading, they are feeling, um, they're coming out of a period of really just being obsessed, being um, well, they're end ending a cycle of suffering or despair with regards to you. Okay, um, they they're getting to the bottom of what's caused them unhappiness in in their lives here. I don't feel so much that you have caused them unhappiness, but just the whole situation has caused them unhappiness. Whatever falling out that may have happened with you guys that's caused them a lot of grief and they're ending that that cycle of being in grief about that I think you know that this person has stopped feeling sorry for themselves and they're willing to make some changes to repair the damage here with you so that you guys can move on either together or um, separately so um, again this is a card that can be about getting professional help to help them deal with some of these issues or maybe that's what they've done to help them deal with some of these issues that they're having some of these excesses and the things that they do that are not serving them that they need to overcome in order to move on with their lives in a healthy way but I do feel like with this card that they are examining your connection deeply and trying to decide you know whether it's worth um continuing or you know if you would both be better off I feel like they think that you're thinking that way that you're trying to decide worth if it's worth staying or if you'd be better off leaving and um, I feel like they are in despair over thinking that you know you might think that you would prefer to remain alone rather than to be with them because that they because they've made you unhappy so they want to be honest with you um, they may have deceived you for a while or they may have been deceiving themselves for a while but they want to be honest with you and um, you may have been honest or will be honest with them about the things I just said you know about perhaps moving on without this person you know depending on how much they put you through okay and how long it's taken for you to receive some substantial offer from them uh, um, how does option three's person think of the third party? What does option three's person think of the third party? We've got the emperor in reverse and <clears> hmm, <throat> okay, the, the king of um, the king of pentacles in reverse. So that's earth and fire king of pentacles i'm getting like this third party could be a taurus or an aries but doesn't have to be you know take what resonates on that um they would certainly have some of those traits but the lower vibrational version because this is in reverse so i think that they think that the third party is um not progressing either right it's been sluggish there have been obstacles particularly with regard to material success with this person um Maybe they're just spending their money on the wrong things, but I feel like they think that they are stuck with this third party and they just don't have the drive to get out of the connection right now. Um, and that's why they're taking so long to come towards you. Um, and, you know, if this is talking about the third party, they think that the third party is like coarse, is like, they don't think very highly to say the least, okay, that this, they will do just about anything for money or they're not that bright they might be corrupt in some way at their job or something like that here and um, you know if if money isn't an issue for their connection then um, it's like the main reason why your person is involved with them it's not so much excitement or romance is as it is what your person's kind of getting out of it 
which doesn't speak very well of your person, but it could also be talking about the third party is involved because of what they're getting out of it. So take what resonates, but I feel like your person thinks it's very routine, the connection with this other person that it's, um, that there are responsibilities to this other person that drain your person's vitality or vice versa. Could be that your person is draining their vitality, but, um, they do feel stuck and finances have something to do with it as well as status because both the emperor and the king of pentacles can talk about um, a focus on finances um, and or status and both of them are showing up in reverse as how your person thinks of this other person and the emperor in reverse is saying you know that they're sort of um, you know, just by being together, they're they're bucking some system here. Um, there's some sort of rebelliousness in being with this other person, and I think that this other person may be, you know, a self righteous, chauvinist, um, or you know, if it's a female, catty, or they bring this out in your person. This like kind of an overbearing chauvinist self-righteous um, energy so it's not a good energy that either of them is in being together and it could even be you know if they're not kind of a bully to each other then one of them is very cowardly or indecisive or lacking confidence it's like a cycle perhaps for some of them of being like bullying and then the next time you know they're being weak and back and forth but it can show like a loss of power and I feel like there is weakness and vulnerability like just being together makes them weaker and more vulnerable and there's probably a lot of criticism here and um, definitely some control issues here between the two of them so it could be that one of them calls the, sh calls the shots more whether it be your person or the other person somebody's like the boss here and definitely a lack of immaturity a lack of maturity a lack of commitment as well so it's a good thing for your person that this is ending or that this tower moment is here this major change so what actions um, does option three's person plan on taking towards the viewer please option three's person what actions we've got the five of wands in reverse and the five of wands is about the ego and I'm not seeing a lot of actions being taken but I think your person's going to be aiming to adapt to to this challenging situation that they find themselves in um, by you know adjusting their attitude and releasing behaviors that do not serve them with regards to you so I feel like they are going to try to seek some compromise with you when they finally do get around to reaching out to you. Um, because if you guys don't compromise, this card is saying that you, neither one of you is going to win here. And this is also a warning to you to not get involved with this person if they continue to be questionable in their actions towards you or um, communication towards you, whatever the case may be, if they are still engaging in risky practices of any kind, um, you know, be careful in trusting this person. They might might not be trustworthy. And I feel like, you know, this card is saying that, that they're not going to be trustworthy at first. You know, perhaps not for a, a long while. So flexibility needs to be happening here to resolve your disputes or differences. Um, you know, look in the mirror at yourself to see, you know, if you're being selfish or self-centered in any way in this connection, as that will contribute to conflicts in the connection. And try to see, the, uh, you know, from the other's point of view, this person's going to try to see from your point of view. So I don't know how much that qualifies as actual actions actions, but we did already see that they are moving at a slow pace regarding you. And what actions does option three's person plan on taking towards the third party? What actions? they are going to heal from heartbreak they are going to suffer a heartbreak or are suffering a heartbreak uh, or a loss could just be a loss here um, from this tower moment that we already saw is happening in that connection and 
and they need to heal from that they need to recover from that and so they're not taking you know a lot of action with regard to this other person either they are um, they're going to realize that you know they've made a mountain out of a mole, mole hill with regard to this connection both in seeing it to be something more I feel than it actually is or was and that um, yeah that this is an unhappy situation and um, but it's not the end of the world in other words so, you know, they're going to be temporarily disappointed by the tower moment they experience with this other person. But it's, again, not the end of the world. And your person's going to see that, and they're going to realize that. And um, they're going to face the truth, and it's going to hurt them. And that's part of the tower moment, I feel. But they're going to pull themselves together and move on with their life. And it's... Um, and work on their past problems, you know. Their personal problems whatever those might be, and um, try to make themselves better, I feel. And that'll include, you know, letting go of their fear and their guilt and their jealousy and whatever other issues, personal issues that they're dealing with. And I feel like, you know, for most of them, they are going to accept the loss of this connection and move on from this person. So it looks like, you know, obviously they feel much more towards you than they do towards this third party. Um... But like I said, it's going to be a while, so before you hear from them or receive an offer from them, it looks like, for most of you. That's all I've got for you, Option 3. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope that helped in some way, and I'm going to move on. Like and subscribe. Thanks again.